watching the McCormick's live. Today I was just going to make a quick video to show you some of the bits that we've collected up for our upcoming trip to Florida. We're currently, let me see, it's on the front of my phone, um, 108 days left and that's from us flying. So our travel day is like 107 days. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of the bits that we've been collecting so that we can take. Um, I'll just get started. Um, first thing, I'll start with my parks bag. Um, last time we went, I did take a Mickey backpack just from Primark, um, and it was okay. It was perfect size. This time, I wanted something that I could rather wear around my waist, like a bit like a bum bag or something like that. Um, because we don't usually like taking a bag into the parks. I know it's like mandatory for most, but. We we aren't that fussed. We we are like quick, easy, get in the park, go. Not we don't like to stand and wait in the bag queue. So, but I'm gonna take one anyways, so I can put like because I think I want to take a fan this time, like to cool down through the park. So sometimes some days, Animal Kingdom's the worst. It's just so hot and I cannot cope. Um, so my park's bag is the mickey shorts bag it's the lounge fly one i got this from the disney shop in my local town center um it was originally about 55 pounds and i saw it and i was like i'm not paying 55 pounds for that um i went back again maybe a few weeks later and it was in the sale for maybe i think it was 50 percent off might have been 27 pound 50 might be wrong i'm not sure so yeah that's my park bag it comes with like a long strap um, you can have it around your waist, you can have it crossbody, whichever way really. So that's that one. Um, I'll carry on with bags. So my next one is, I got this from Primark. Um, I, we never, we've never really had like a swim parks bag. But I saw this and I thought oh, it would be perfect for when we do go to the water parks. Um, and then go to the actual theme parks after. You know, if you've got like a wet backpack on your back and it just makes all the back of your t-shirt wet and it's a bit uncomfortable so I got I saw this pre-mark I think it might have been like 12 or 14 pound um, and it's just this big aerial one and it's got like it's like plasticky um, it's got glitter in it and it's got little bubbles on it um, and then it comes with like an inner bag it's like an iridescent bag that's a bit iridescent bag and then it's just got a little Sebastian heart tag on it quite cute um be able to take this to volcano bay as well um next bag i've got this one i got this for christmas off james um i think i got it from pre-mark i can't remember how much it was and it's just this i'm going to take this one on the plane um there's just this big whole doll bag and it's got like sketched mickeys all over it and it comes with a little mickey shorts tag which is perfect it matches with my parks bag um, it comes with like a long, long handle. Um, yeah, and it's, I can't, do you know what? It won't have been more than fifteen pounds. Um, they have got different ones in now. I think they've got a pink one in at the moment, which I do like. But I've got too many bags. I can't, can't buy them. All. This next bag is a Toy Story whole doll suitcase. Oh my god! When I saw it in the Disney shop, I nearly died. I was like, I, I was still talking to the girl who works in there and she was like, you're right. And I was like, no, not really. She was like, what's the matter? I was like, well, I've just seen that suitcase over there and I don't think I can walk out of this shop without one because I, I just know for a fine fact it will sell out. And with the whole Toy Story coming out next week, I just think it'll go. And um, I couldn't... I couldn't leave it, I just couldn't. So it was £40, it's still got the tag on, I've just took it out of the box to show. Um, I said to James, oh it can be a <laughs> it can be a birthday present for you. I and mean, secretly deep, deep down I just want it for myself. 
<laughs> so it is i don't know how much it'll show but it's just a white oh, it's like a creamy actually cream case it's got like red piping red on the wheels and then it's got just like all characters new characters it's got like rex ham jesse the aliens which is my absolute fave i'm obsessed with the aliens um i can't wait to rock up in the airport with this when we go i think that's the one thing i'm most excited for is to take this suitcase i'll be like james it's fine you get the hold on my hold all's a bit heavy um <laughs> i'll push the suitcase of course that's gonna happen so that was that um i did walk past the disney shop yesterday and they had some in that's my local i'm not sure about yours it'll probably be online as well but james needed one james needed one <laughs> Um, so I'll go on to the next thing, um, well this Toy Story, uh, I saw these in Primark maybe like three weeks ago, the, it was in the kids section okay, I'm not gonna lie, um, so the first thing was the Rex bag, I say it's a Rex bag, it's more like a Rex purse but with a long handle, um, so it was seven pounds and then that's the back of it and it's literally just like a coin purse you literally couldn't even fit your phone in i haven't used it yet i don't know when i'll use it i don't know how i'll use it but i had to have it so that's that one um the next one i thought this might have even fit in like a card like a card holder but it really doesn't so the this was also in the kids section it's just the alien this was £3.50 and it's like really thin and flat um, and it's just got a zip on the back and I, I tried to fit my bank card and it doesn't fit so I was like well how the hell am I meant to use this? What do I, meant, I know it's from the kids section so it's probably just for kids to put their money in but I couldn't leave it. Um, so what I think I'm going to do with it um, is where there's a, a hook on the back with a zip I might like... I don't know get a bit of ribbon or something and put it on james's suitcase james's suitcase um just as like a luggage tag just in case well to be fair it's coming on the plane but it's just extra decoration that's all it is um so that's that one and um, this was also in pre-mac <laughs> right i've got so many makeup bags it's ridiculous but anything disney anything toy story anything like that especially with all the new pre-mac stuff out at the moment i cannot i cannot leave in the shop i'm ridiculous um so it's this you could use it as just like a little slip in your bag maybe if medicine or i don't know just something extra you i'll find a place for this um and it's just dots and it's got like characters on it was really i saw it and i was like oh but then i've seen like on facebook and stuff recently that people they've brought out like the big makeup bags and i did check and we didn't have them in so we just had this so and it was only four pounds so i was just like i'll grab that as well why not i've got everything else um so that's a, that one that'll probably just go in the suitcase i'll probably end up just putting medicine in it just or plasters and stuff like that um next thing i got this yesterday from the disney shop because we went to big weekend maybe when was it two weekends ago um and it was in my local town well on the sunday i got really badly sunburned and i had my hair patterned um and i think i just had some space buns in um and it was it was raining it was a meant to rain all day so i thought Do you know what? i'm not gonna wear any makeup i'll just have my hair up um take sunglasses in case the sun comes out it rained and then it like stopped and the sun come out and then it like went in again and it, it was just one of those days where the sun's hidden but you get really burnt and i didn't realize didn't take sun cream because I, I thought it was going to rain all day everyone had took the rain jackets and umbrellas the lot and i went to <laughs> i went to work the next day um and i was beetroot in the face and all my scalp was on fire. I was in agony with my scalp. I couldn't like brush my hair properly. It really hurt. Um, so, and then like for a week, my scalp went really peely and I've, I've never witnessed anything like that. So I don't want this to happen again when we're on holiday. So I have bought a cap. It was from the Disney shop. Um, 
I got it yesterday. Um, it was in the sale. It was meant to be £11. I got it for £3.20. That's just a pink one. I don't think I even suit caps, but I'm not willing to <laughs> risk my scalp like that again. It's just got a little um, up house on it. And then on the back it says, Welcome to Paradise Falls. And I was like, oh, just... I need to stop going in Primark and the Disney shop because it's not doing wonders for my bank account. <laughs> the bags. I've got this makeup bag. I got it for Christmas off James. The other part of it's in our actual bedroom. I'm in the spare bedroom at the moment. Um, it's just this up, up makeup bag. It's actually got a lot of my makeup in at the moment. And it's got the balloon on. Um, inside there, it, I've got the grape soda little mirror. And it also comes with the um, a cow makeup bag as well. Again, more bags. But I do use this. It's got clouds on the back. Really cute. I absolutely love it. We um, watched the Up movie a couple months ago, maybe two months ago. Um, and I, I don't think I've ever watched it all the way through. And I, I don't understand why. Watched it, absolutely bawled my eyes out at the Ellie and Carl bit at the beginning. I don't know. I don't know who can sit through that and not cry. It was horrific. So that's that one. So for my birthday, James got me this GoPro because I've seen Tim Tracker's water park videos and I absolutely love them. So I wanted to do some of those videos as well, like going down the slides and stuff. So he got me the GoPro. It's the wrong way around. But it's the GoPro Hero 7 um, and that's what it looks like at the front. It's just the white one. I was learning how to use this the other day and it was actually quite good. I just need some attachments for it, like a chest mount and stuff like that. But this one thing I'll be taking. The next thing I want to show you is just these Mickey Mouse flip-flops. Just for around the pool and stuff like that. Or when we're in the parks, um, I'll probably just slip into James's bag because they won't fit in my bag. Um, that's just a train going past my house. Thank you. Good day. Um, so what else I was the same. Oh yeah, so this will just probably fit into James's backpack. It's just when I'm in the parks, walking around all day, I don't know if it's just the heat or what, my feet absolutely kill sometimes. And I have gone home like some days in absolute agony. I say I've gone home, gone back to the hotel. So there's them. Speaking of shoes, James has just got a pair and I'm very, very jealous because I really wanted the slip-on vans the, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. It's the map of Harry Potter on the slip-on ones. I wanted those. James has just got, I think he got the Deathly Hallows vans. I would show you, but he's actually got them on for work at the moment and he's not in, so um, he got those. I also got for Christmas off James a pair of the, it was Mickey 90 vans. So it's like a vans collection and it's, the checkerboard ones with Minnie on one and Mickey on the other, the slip on, and they've got the flames up the side, the downstairs. I'm, I won't. I might put a clip in, but I think everyone's already seen them anyway. So, so the next thing is these nightgowns that um, Premax sell. The six pound each. Obviously, some of them you can tell the pajamas, but others, I'm gonna cut these down. So the t-shirt. There's one that's already cut down into a t-shirt, which I'll show you. My sister done it for me. And I think I've got like three more for her to cut. And if I see any more when I go, um, I'll get her to do them ones as well for me. But £6 for a t-shirt isn't really that bad. Especially some sometimes you can get them and they're quite expensive. Not from Primark, but other places. Um, so the first one, I've got this Toy Story one. And it's got the clouds all over it. And it's Disney Pixar. And I, I love it. So I'll be able to wear this in Toy Story Land. Um, so that's the first one. Um, I think they're in the pile, so I'll show you the next ones. The second one I got, it's still got a sticker on it, is just this um, Mickey Mouse t-shirt. It's got Mickey Mouse all over it. It's got red shorts, green shorts, pink, blue. Uh, it was really cheap it's quite thin as well it's not like really really thin but it's quite thin so it'd be quite comfortable and that was only five pounds i saw this on the model in birmingham the new world's biggest pre-mark um and it looked really good and i actually did get the dungaree set to go with it but it's in the pile so i'll show you in a bit so there's that one and next one 
I'll sh I want to show this one at the end because it's extra special. This one I won't be taking on holiday with us. I just thought I'd show you because I absolutely love it. Um, it's long sleeve. That's why I won't be taking it away. It's just I will just be too warm in it. It's just a Vans t-shirt and it's got the black long arms and then on the back it's incredible i've had this for quite a while now it says the claw and it's got four aliens and i absolutely love it so i just thought i'd show you this one the next one is one of james's t-shirts he gets quite a few of these offline so i don't actually know where they're from if i will ask him um and i'll leave a link below for people but I'm not sure if like they do a bit like do a few of them and then like get rid and change. I don't know. So this first one it says make America Groot again. And it's just a fun t-shirt. He absolutely loves these styles, especially they're so easy, you just shot on with a pair of shorts. Um this other one, this isn't actually Disney related, but I probably will end up taking it. It's just a short sleeve t-shirt, but it's also from one of those websites that sell those ones. And it's a, God, it's a bit, it's got a bit of cotton on it. It is a God Save the Queen t-shirt. It's got Freddy on it and I, this one's mine. James actually ordered me this one. I saw it and I was like, oh, I really like that, please. Next one, I've taken this to Florida the first time we went. Um, this one's from Primark um, and it's just a NASA one. It's just plain grey. There's actually a photo of us somewhere on Splash Mountain and I'm wearing this. Um, just grey with NASA on it and it's just comfy and obviously it goes in with a theme. It's just really comfy really. The next one is for Universal. I think this might be pre-mark as well and all of these t-shirts there were no more than £20 obviously not just the pre-mark ones the ones that we got online as well this one will have probably been about £8 it's just says have you seen this wizard and I've wore this in Universal um, already so there's that one then there's this one which is I love absolutely love it's got a few bits of cotton on. We've all got cotton on them. Uh, this one's black. I say I'm not a big fan of wearing plain black t-shirts on holiday. I'm really not. But some days where it isn't as hot as others, so it's this one. This is perfect for Universal. It is the ET, and he's got a form. It's form bill, and I wore this the other day, and I got so many people saying, "Oh, I love your t-shirt." Um, so there's that one and another train going past my house yeah thank you yes one I got this on our last trip I absolutely love it I've worn it to death the only thing I, I just think I'll wear it on the plane um, and I'll probably wash it and wear it on the plane home as well just for a bit of warmth because I do feel really warm in it and it's just the spirit jersey it's the rose gold one and it's got the Disney and then on the back, everyone will have seen these already, I think. Actually, the lady who sold me it, well, she didn't actually sell me it. I took it to the till. Um, and I think, when was it? Did I, I don't, I can't remember if I, oh yeah, I did. So last year when we went, the lady at the till um, who served us, give me discount on this spirit jersey so i'm sure the i can't remember the exact price but she gave me annual pass discount on it because she loved my ears she said and i made them myself and they were like sunflowers and then i'd done like a rose gold metal ear on them and she said oh my god i really like these and then she was like do you have a discount card and i was like no and then she just she was like oh, i'll give you a discount and i was like oh thank you so i think i got this from maybe ten dollars cheaper i don't i can't remember i really can't um so that's that one and i really really want another one when we're out there i'm not sure if i will get one because they are a bit pricey i might just go for t-shirts and stuff like that this time but i've got one so the black and white one as well i really like the one that jade billington's got um she looks really nice in it 
and it's I think just black in general it just goes with everything the next one is a pair of shorts these were 12 pounds um from Primark the uh they've got stripes on and I've also got the matching dungaree dress and it's got like a it's like a Mickey patch Mickey patch there and then it just says Mickey Mouse on the pocket and these will be perfect just with every single one of these t-shirts obviously not the universal ones but you know uh, and then the matching dungaree dress so oh it's very awkward to show this um it's got the uh, mickey patch oh wow how am i showing this right so so it's got the mickey patch on and then oh how awkward am i holding this and then it just says on the skirt it's a skirt one it's not the short um and it just says massive mickey mouse and the back's plain it's just got the stripes on jesus christ that was so that was so difficult um so there's that one and this is what i seen on the model in the Birmingham, world's biggest prima the birmingham one um with the the mickeys all over with the red shorts the green shorts the blue shorts and i it really it looks really nice so i thought i'll wear them together oh i forgot how much, how much that one was i think i've took the tag off because I, I wore this one the weather was nice the other week might have been 15 pounds really good this one was also one of the 90s but my sister actually cut this one down and i just thought it would be really cool as a t-shirt to wear probably around magic kingdom and so it's this one it's just got mike and sully all over it and it just says r all over it i just thought it'd be it's like a fun disney t-shirt um it's got a bit of little specks of glitter on it as well actually and then this one it's also offline but it's not a disney t-shirt it's just yellow very yellow and it's got a P pikachu on the pocket yeah pikachu on the pocket and that's one of james's t-shirts but it's quite summery and it'd be nice in the warm weather so there's that and then this one ready for that star wars land it's just plain black uh, honestly it's just got bits all over them um excuse the bits uh it's got yoda on it he said he doesn't like this one because it's not central it's not right in the middle i don't know if you can tell he said it's not right in the middle so he doesn't like wearing it because he's awkward so there's that one um this one i absolutely love it is also offline i couldn't tell you where i will try and find out it is blue and then it reminds me of up um and it's stan holding some balloons and the balloons are all characters and i absolutely love this one it's one of my favorite t-shirts of james's so that one i think i might have even wore this one as well this one i wore this last year on our trip this was in pre-mark when we went like before we went last year and then i went to disney and like the shopping centers and whatever and i think i've seen everyone from the uk in florida had this t-shirt like everyone did um i was in the queue for might have been buzz Lightyear in magic kingdom and i had this t-shirt on a woman had this t-shirt on with her daughter who also had the t-shirt on i saw someone else with a t-shirt on i was like wow pre-mark have really done well with it <laughs> with this t-shirt so it's just this one it might have been like six or eight pounds it's just got mini mouse on the packet pocket but i'll just be taking that one again just comfy it's plain gray and it's just got the death star on it you can see that'd be good for toys why am i saying toys sorry that'd be good for star wars land <laughs> wow this pile's getting bigger and bigger um last one is also a nighty is that all my nighties then no the last one is another nighty but it is it's just plain pink and it's got all the princesses all over it and a castle and the carriages and stuff like that um so there's that one 
out of, out of this t-shirt I got for my birthday off James and I swear to god it is my favourite t-shirt in the whole world. I've wore it once already. I cannot wait to wear this in Magic Kingdom with a doll whip in my hand in the 30 degree heat living my best life. So it's plain white and I don't know if you have already been to Disney they on the monorail I think it's when you get off it says something like bor pavor and um, please stand clear of the doors um so this says please stand clear of my doll whip and I'm not going to read this out because James will take the mick out of me because I can't actually say the last part but it says something something deem my doll whip <laughs> I probably even said that wrong there um so it's a this and I cannot wait to wear it. It is my favourite. He got me this for my birthday and I'm just so excited. I'm like a big child. So there's that one. And then we've got two more t-shirts. I got these from the big pre-mark in Birmingham, the, the new one. Um, and they've got these, you've probably seen them in people's vlogs already. The little sec section where you can make your own t-shirts and um, little canvas bags. So I got me and James a t-shirt each. I didn't get writing on the top because I wasn't really a big fan of like the quote. So it was a bit like live, laugh, love. And I just wanted simple wording at the bottom. I'm not going to show you what it says at the bottom because I'm going to leave that for the vlogs when we're on holiday. Um, just a little... It, we're going to wear it on a certain day. That's all I'm going to say. So my one I'm really, I'm really hoping that doesn't unfold mine one is a plain white one and then oh, I, I hope you can't see through it's just got black flecks on it and then it's just got the three aliens I'm holding this really awkward because I'm praying that it doesn't fall down um and then James is oh I think it's gonna fall down no it's not the Buzz and Woody with the black flecks as well. There was so Next many. Thing, I've got these um, patches, but they're on a, like a pin badge. I, w I just saw these and I was like, oh, they'd be perfect because I do want to get an oversized jacket and stick like patches on and stuff from like different places we've been. Um, and I'd also like to stick one of them on my park bag. And they're only three pound, and I like them. Don't know if we'll be taking them, but they're Disney. So, and then the last thing is some ears um i haven't actually got a pair of ears from disney yet but i did make my own i saw these on somebody's youtube video i think um so i decided to make my own and they're just these toy story ones ready for toy story land and they've got woody and buzz and a yellow bow i was gonna do them irreversible i still can because they're not quite finished yet i need to put like a stronger glue just to make sure that the stones don't come out and then on the back it just says toy story and then it's the pixar ball as well and then on the edges are quite like just like a silvery um i absolutely love these and i can't wait to wear them in toy story land and get some nice pictures and stuff like that so i made these myself I've got quite a few like bits that I've been collecting of like ribbon and headbands and stuff like that so I can make my own. I also made this pair. These aren't finished yet but I just thought for Star Wars Land and we're going, we're going the 30th of September till like the 14th of October so it'll still be like Halloween-y so I just got these. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I don't know where I'm going to go with these but it's just Halloween Star Wars um, material. And I've got the material from Hobbycraft. Um, I think it might have been £8 for like a metre or something like that. But I loved it. And then uh, on the back, I've like stone, like put little red stones where there'd be red dots and like some stones on the lightsaber there. But I don't know what I do with these. I'm not finished, so I'm not 100% if I'll be taking them or not. But that's that. So that's everything we've been collecting so far. Quite a lot of t-shirts quite a bit of stuff actually we don't really need that much um as far as i'm aware these and i've got like jumpsuits and stuff like that but they're not like disney inspired so i just thought i'd show you like disney bits and stuff like that so, so i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching bye <laughs>